Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Persona 5. We just finished up here in the Velvet Room. I spent way longer in here than I expected to. We did another rank with the twins though, so that was one good thing. But now we're going to leave and time see if we can do some confidence stuff because I would really love to do some stuff with Ryuji and Takemi, which I mentioned before. I've got loads of messages here everybody wants to join us it seems oh yes I needed to get a, a persona that works with Ryuji I completely forgot about that I made a room as well so I need to make sure I do that too I'll go pick up a chariot and then we'll get started with Ryuji let's do this Ryuji let's talk to him see what we can do I'm not really digging all the sitting around crap if you feel like it let's have some exercise I, will, I got something I want to talk to you about during. Oh, okay, what do you want to talk about? Okay, I got some, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to rank up with him, which is really cool, because I think, what rank are we on? Yeah. We are on nine, so I think this might be the last time we are doing stuff with Ryuji. So this is really cool, let's hang out with him. Oh yeah, let's grab some ramen before we, after we finish training then. Okay, that sounds good to me. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it, Ryuji. I'm so excited to see the end of this as well. Ah, oh, this is a perfect way to refill after some training. This is going to be the first confident that we've ever maxed, so I'm really excited to see what happens. It definitely is. That looks like a really yummy bowl of ramen. I would totally love to have some of that. <laughs> By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. That's good. That's good to know. We took down the corrupt Yamauchi as well. Awesome. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. I'm glad. I'm glad the parents are actually taking a stand now because they totally didn't when Kamishida was around. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Yay! It's good to know that the track team has finally, finally got somewhere. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. I think they might even go far in the meet. You should join Ryuji. You need to rejoin the track team, man. I'm looking forward to it. We can't lose Eva. Yeah, let's say we can't lose Eva. Let's inspire Ryuji to do his best as a phantom thief. Hell yeah! He liked that. I thought he would like that. <laughs> oh crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat! Oh no, nothing worse than soggy ramen. <laughs> Isn't ramen already soggy though? <laughs> I mean, we don't really have ramen like that here. It's like, most of the closest I've had is like, noodles in like a packet from a packet or like a pot noodle <laughs> it's not really the same as like what they have there they've got like meat and like egg in it and everything it looks really awesome i would love to try that it's not the same here we don't really have it like that Ooh, that was awesome glad you enjoyed ryuji oh he's getting serious to tell the truth i was scared of facing those guys straight up i see his face just turn serious all of a sudden I couldn't stand how much they hated me. It only just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but... I managed to change because you were here helping me. Way to give us praise. The game loves praising us, doesn't it? It's like, thank you for playing, so we'll give you some praise from Ryuji. Yay! <laughs> I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. Of course. You didn't abandon me. Why would I? So, thanks, man. No problemo. Oh, he's so nice when he has like his little heart to hearts. He's a, he's annoying. He's an annoying character sometimes. I still love him though. I love Ryuji. I think he's really awesome. He's a cool character. You're welcome. It's all because of you. Let's say you're welcome. Let's actually just accept his praise for once. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. 
<laughs> How'd it end up like this? Life is very unpredictable. Either way, it's my turn now. Okay, good. He's going to repay us by being an excellent phantom thief. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. Aw, oh, we found a good friend in Ryuji. I feel a strong bond with Ryuji. Are we gonna get to the max? Oh my god, what's happening? I've never seen this before. I am thou. Thou art I. What's happening? Thou it's like we've unlocked a new thou thing. Into a blood oath. Oh, thy we're blood oath shall become now. the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the chariot, granting thee infinite power. Infinite power, hey? Nice. The ultimate secret of the chariot. What's the ultimate secret? Tell me. <laughs> Transforms his persona into a mythological trickster. What? What is that? That's so cool. I'm really intrigued as to what that means. I can't wait to see what he actually is like in battle. It's so cool. It's now max, guys. We finally ranked our first confident up to the max. Next is Takemi because Takemi is also super close, I believe. All right. This is really awesome. Yeah, max rank. I'm so happy. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Bursts and Fusing Personas. Okay, cool. Ryuji has had a second awakening. All right. <gasps> Fusion unlocked. What? You can now fuse Chiyu, the most powerful persona of the chariot Arcana. Wow, it really does, like, praise you for maxing up your confidence. It's really nice to see all of this. This is so cool. I wasn't expecting all of that. And he's shining. What? True confidant. <gasps> Are we gonna get to see it? Oh, cool. We're gonna transform. Oh my god, it's transforming, guys. What does he transform into? Oh my god, what's happened? Oh, this is so cool. My new power. Wow, I'm really impressed that it like fuses, it transforms again. I was not expecting this. That's so awesome. He looks like Superman. <laughs> How cool is that? I really like that. Look at that flying Nimbus. How cool is that? I really like this fusing thing, like awakening thing again. That's so cool. It definitely feels like I've been rewarded for maxing out this confidence. So it definitely gives you a real, a real sense of accomplishment for doing these. All right. Captain Kid has transformed into Satan Taisei. Cool. That's awesome. I bet he's going to be so much stronger now. All right. Now I have that off my chest, let's do this! All right. First up, the Phantom Thieves. I'll be counting on you, leader, and you can count on me too. Okay, cool. Look at this lovely bromance. It's so sweet. <laughs> hey, now that we're all fueled up, wanna race to the station? Let's do it. Last one there's a rotten egg. <laughs> Awesome, look at him. He looks like a monkey. All skill slots are... We got a special skill. Oh, awesome. I just so love this episode. It's got a mohawk and everything. He looks like a stunt dude or something. Real crazy. Okay, triples evasion against wind skills. Does not stack. I should definitely get this, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, what should I get rid of though? Oh, I don't know. Why are you against wind skills? That's a bit of a random thing. Hmm, God, what do I do? I'm gonna get rid of Taru Kadja because I know I can get these on Joker. It's fine, I can get that skill on Joker. We'll get Evade Wind. Awesome. Yay! He upgraded! I was not expecting that. Not one bit. I was expecting just like loads of backstory. But that was a nice surprise, I've got to say. Hmm, Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry Haru, Haru you need to worry because I think he's going to have a mental shutdown, the poor dude. Well, not really poor dude, but <laughs> I mean I didn't really want him to have a mental shutdown. Uh, at least. I wanted him to change his heart, so it's kind of sad in a way. Is that so? I feel more sorry for Haru, to be honest. I feel sorry for Haru more than anyone else. Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. 
Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about a sudden shift. It'll be okay, Haru. Don't let your guard down. Futaba knows all about that. <laughs> yes, she did have to suddenly shift the way that she lived, to be honest. Okay, don't let your guard down. Come on, don't scare her. I'm sorry, I'm preparing her. I'm preparing her for the worst. Hmm. I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. I don't know about that. <laughs> All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Hey. Oh boy. By the way, you got a notification on your phone. Make sure you check it. Okay, I have lots of notifications it seems. Oh yeah, I should probably do a Kawakami as well because I'm pretty sure I did quite a lot of Kawakami. Let's see what my highest rank confidence are. I mean Morgana but I think that's story driven isn't it? I think that one is story driven. Igor is also story driven I believe. So we have... Yeah Takemi is 7. I actually thought she was higher than that. And Kawakami is 6 so I should definitely do those. Mishima is 8 I think. Oh yes and also Yoshida. I've done loads of Yoshida so I should do... I should definitely work on finishing Yoshida, Takemi and Kawakami because those are my highest ones and I really want to finish those because otherwise if I don't it'll be like I've wasted my time on those of course. Alright so I think we should hire... Kawakami right now. Wait, let me check what her confident is first. I'll do that first. Okay, I already have the one for Kawakami, so we're all good. We're raring to go. Let's do this. Let's call her over. Master. Okay. Is your house ever going to get air conditioning? Why are you always complaining, girl? Maid outfits get too hot during summer and really cold in winter. They're so impractical. Oh wow, she's always complaining, isn't she? All right, let's call her over. I've got enough money, so we're all good for now. We're not going to deepen our relationship, unfortunately, however. But let's get this rolling. I should probably go to the airsoft shop and sell my treasure as well. Probably got quite a bit of treasure to sell from the palace. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully I've got a bit. <laughs> I did spend a lot, to be honest. Kawakami seems happy I requested her. Is it my imagination or does she not look well? Oh no, is she ill? Is she overworked? Oh, that's right. I might have something Kawakami should like. All right, we might have a gift to help boost this. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't believe she likes any of these things that I've currently got. I just looked online, so we will have to skip this for now. Maybe I shouldn't give any gifts for now. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Okay, good. So maybe next time see later I will manage to improve my relationship with her. So I will hope that she's okay. I hope that she isn't ill. That would be bad. She does seem to work a little bit too much, doesn't she? Be cool to see the, the rest of the stuff with Kawakami. Hey! Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Oh my god, we're going to read something. It's been a long time since we read anything. Alright, what have we got? Charm here. I've read a little bit of the charm book. Should I finish my charm book? Maybe I should finish my charm book. Let's finish the charm book. So I've already read half of it. I might as well finish it. Why not? Hmm? Even when facing death, her soul was free. Wow. Not just her looks, but her way of life was also very beautiful. I don't even know what you're reading. I don't even know what, I, what the title of the book was. <laughs> I didn't even look. <laughs> oh, The Alluring Dancer. The great beauty Carmen lived for love and passion. I suppose life without freedom is pointless. Ah, so this is the story behind Anne's confident, I guess. Well, I don't know if I could live exactly like she did, but you learned a lot, didn't you? Awesome, some charm, woo! Do you think we'll level? No, of course not. Right. Never mind. We're almost at the station. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's do this. What piece of story we're we going to have today? Maybe it's just a lesson. Are we going to have a school lesson? Yep, we're going to have a lesson. Autumn is for eating. Autumn is for art. Autumn is for reading. Stores will use whatever reasons they can to pull in customers this season in particular. Ah, yes. People also say that autumn is for sports. A while back, baseball was the national sport, but these days, people have been into soccer. 
As you know, black and white are the common colours for soccer balls. Now then, Starkin, could you take a look at this picture? Alright, let's have a look. Yep, it's a lovely soccer ball. Do you know why they chose black and white? No. <laughs> uh, so it shows up well on TV. Well, I don't really think that's the case. To make it easy to referee, to make it easy to kick, there's no reason. Maybe to make it easy to referee? I don't know. Really? So it shows up well on TV? Oh, okay. That seems kind of simple, but alright. Didn't think it would be that one, but okay. I was thinking like, what about when it was like, when TVs were black and white? Wouldn't really make much of a difference then. Everything was black and white anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's see what, what she says. This is it. Precisely. Correct. When they started broadcasting soccer on TV, the screens were still black and white. Yep. Colour combinations like white and brown were difficult to make out. Ah, right. I thought it would all just look the same anyway, because it's all black and white anyway, but I guess it would have stuck out, I suppose. Incidentally, the ball is composed of 12 black pentagons and 20 white hexagons. A contrast of colours stretching over a surface uninterrupted. Don't you think it's elegant? Um, no, not really. I don't really look at soccer balls and think, my god, that's an elegant soccer ball. <laughs> Actually, we call it football, not soccer. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, right, right, yeah, we can skip this. Go, 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 go. Oh, look, we maxed out our knowledge. Yeah, awesome. Finally, we ma we're starting to max things now. Cool. A recent design that's caught my eye is the moon burger, which uses an egg to represent the moon. I'm well aware of the bad rumours surrounding Okamura foods, but you can't argue with hunger. Mm. Moon burgers? You think someone like her really eats hamburgers? Why wouldn't she? <laughs> what? Why wouldn't she eat hamburgers? Like, what? Why, why would you say that? That's a bit weird. <laughs> but alright. Okay, time to continue with our confident training, I suppose. Not sure who we can do. Maybe we can go and do some Takemi? No, we can't, apparently. Let's go and check out why. Let's go and check out what's up with Takemi. Maybe we need to raise some stats or something. I've completely forgotten. It's been a while. Not sure what I need for her. I think she might need some stat boosts. Is there something you want? I want to talk to you. There's no need for us to do any more clinical trials. Takemi seems sunk in gloom. The cause is likely her trouble with the medical chief of staff. I already know the medical chief of staff's name. Let's head to Mementos and change his heart. Oh, I have to do Mementos. I see, I completely forgot. Maybe that's something we'll do next then. Let me just check around and see what else is up. Makoto's there, right. Yeah, I think that's what we will do actually. Let's go and do Mementos. That could be a good idea because we're going to need money for Kawakami anyway, so this is probably going to be a good idea. How many requests have I actually got? I've actually got loads. Oh wow, I've actually got four requests, so this could probably be a good idea. Let's go check this out. There's a rumour in the gaming world about a player cheating in an online game about matches. Do I have to go to the... maybe I have to go to the arcade to check this out? Or maybe I just have to bring it up in the thing. Let me see here. What's this? Yeah, hey, okay, here we go. What? You want to play this? I'm playing Gun about right now, so don't bother me. Hey, did you get change yet? It, um, it won't take my 1,000 yen bill. Oh, now's my chance. The cheater logged in. Hey, hurry up and bring me back some change. Um, the cheater? Some people online found his real name on a social network site, and now they're all raging. I think his real name is Yoshi Kuni Nijima. That dirtbag is 40 years old without a job. Well, I'm going to crush Nijima and be a hero. But you don't seem to be winning at all. Shut up! Just go and bring me back some change already. So that's the malevolent player that Mishima was talking about. He's the infamous cheater. It's one thing to cheat if you're playing alone, but it's wrong to mess with other people like that. We got his name too. It looks like Yoshikuni and Najima is going to be our next target. Alright, time to take down the cheaters. Nobody likes cheaters, right? Cheaters are just 
the bane of gaming. They are just absolute horrors. All right, so let's go then into mementos. Let's do some memento stuff. It's been a little while since we did stuff like this, so okay. let's go. Let's do this. We must simply wait until his change of heart, no? Well, shall we head into mementos for now? That sounds like a good idea. Let's view my requests first. Well, everyone's here. This is a good opportunity to sort through the mementos target info we have. We'll start with this one first. This intel is on an atrocious land speculator. He's trying to threaten the old couple who managed to theatre in Yongen to make them move out. If we don't do something, things will probably get even worse. So he's trying to do this because they declined his offer. We cannot allow such a horrible method to succeed. Very well. Very well, I will go along with this. There are still more. Next is Intel is on a malicious cheating gamer. Apparently he's been cheating at arcades to show off. It's been nothing but an annoyance to the other customers though. Okay. Let's change that immature jerk's heart fast. We'll show him that a real man fights fair and square. Very true, Ryuji. Very well. Wise words. I will go along with this. Okay, Just there's still more. This Intel is on the human incarnation of greed who borrows money and runs off with it. He's changed his name and even had a surgery to change his face. Not even the police can catch him. Oh, wow. <sighs> when greed has gone that far, the only thing I can feel is pity. It seems it would be best if we helped change his heart. I'm on board. I'm for doing this too. We need to trigger a change of hearts in them. Okay, there are still more. Next is about that doctor in Yongen Jaya Takemi. She's in a real pinch right now. Oh, yeah. An old boss of hers, Oyamada, is trying to crush her clinic to save himself. This is the doctor in Yongen? Shit! This guy is hiding some serious medical mistakes. It turns out he's quite the criminal. Alright, we gotta operate on that dude's rotten heart then. <laughs> I love the way they worded that, that's so nice. cool. Okay, looks like we're all ready to do this. We already told Mishima, so the forum post is up and running. No objections, right? Yep. Okay, we're good to go. That's a unanimous decision. Left next, we need to go into a mementos. All right, awesome. Just had to check that before I went. I'm also just going to stock up on supplies real quick. All right, let's do this. I didn't have much money to buy much stuff anyway, so this is the perfect opportunity to make some dough and take down these horrible targets. The number of targets residing within mementos is four at present. Okay, let's go. Let's head let's in. Go. Awesome! Time to do some mementos! It's been a while. Let's do this. Let's take some dirty criminals down. First time Harry's been here, right? Oh, wait up! I'm getting a reading. It's coming from below. Right, awesome. Let's go. New areas. Woo! New areas. Awesome. Should have quite a few new areas, actually. Let's see how far we can go down now, this time. I wonder how big this place is. It's absolutely huge. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. It's gotten even bigger. This happened because we stole another treasure, right? I feel like it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. I don't think Mementos' territorial expansion is caused by us stealing a treasure. I bet it's things like the number of searches for phantom thieves, the ranking of trending words. Yeah, it's our popularity. I thought we knew this already. And the access counter on Mishima's website and stuff. Even now, it's slowly expanding. The more we become the topic of conversation, the more memento spreads. Is it kind of like rumors or something? Maybe it's the other way around. It kind of reminds me of the Persona game where you spread rumors but maybe it's unrelated. What do you mean? We're the ones expanding it. Or perhaps Mementos grants further passage as we become more prevalent in the general public's cognition. Like getting free admission for being popular? That's rather well put. For real? That's amazing! Actually, you're amazing, Futaba. How'd you figure that out? Piece of cake. I didn't know at all. What have I been doing? Hey, Morgana, you knew more about the palaces and mementos and stuff before we did. Like, we knew we had no clue until you came along, so 
I wouldn't feel bad about not knowing that teeny tiny detail. Silly Morgana. I wonder what's going on with Morgana. He's still having those crazy nightmares. I wonder what changed. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's do it. We got full SP. It feels so glorious to actually have SP again. <laughs> it feels so good. Okay, let's go. So where we were, I think this is the next area here. Yes. Area five, I guess I'll go to. Hmm, I'm sensing the target from an area above us. Oh, let's head up. Oh, okay. I gotta go up. Should write something. Here. What's it like? What the hell's going on? Futaba's Mementos scan ability has identified everything on this floor. Oh wow, I never knew she could do that. So, so we can see like the entire map. That's so cool. Wow, Futaba's definitely going to be very useful in these areas. I wonder where the memento, where the request is. It doesn't seem to be on this floor. It said it was up, right? I'm kind of confused here. How come Futaba won't scan this area? Does it only work with places that we've previously visited? Maybe that's why. Yeah, we've definitely never been on this floor, so it could be on this floor somewhere. Let's see, we might be able to find some new personas. What was that that we just collected? We just got, oh, him. Okay, I remember I used to put him in the prison in the velvet room. I've like locked that guy up so many times, poor persona. <laughs> oh, look, a treasure demon. They're appearing down here as well. That's pretty cool. Not sure if I've already got this one, though. How do I, I should probably do lucky punch on it, right? I don't really know. Oh, hang on, it's got a weakness. Awesome, okay. Let's see if we can capture this thing. Oh no, I like totally wiped it out. Oops, it's too weak. That sucks. <laughs> I can sense our target somewhere in this area. Awesome, I'm gonna see if I can track this guy down then. I haven't seen any new personas in these floors. Oh, he's really close. Okay, this is cool. Let's go and do this one. I can sense the target up ahead. Do you want to head in? Yes, let's see which one this is. Let's see if we can do this one. I hope it's the Takemi one. I really want to do the Takemi one. So that would be a really awesome one to mm. conquer. So that's the shadow of that doctor, Oyamada. Oh, awesome. This is the first one as well. I'm really excited to do this one. <sighs> that bastard looks like he's been eating well lately. Hmm. He made a mistake in rushing a drug's developments and now intends for his subordinate to take the fall. What a jerk. People might die if we don't change his heart, and a good doctor will have to quit. Yeah. We gotta do something. Alright, awesome. Let's get to it then. I wonder what kind of persona this will have. <laughs> Everyone is trash. As head of the medical office, I'm superior to everyone. I deserve all your respect. You should be begging me to examine you. Be grateful I have the compassion to fix you, trash. Give it up. Ah, you're that kid who was at Takemi's. So, how's she doing? She was so depressed when she heard her patient died. Oh, I'm so worried about her. Poor girl. <laughs> it's been so long since I felt so exhilarated. Did she quit being a doctor yet? If she hasn't, then tell her she better hurry us up. You're the one who should quit, I'll mister. You. you dare talk to me, your superior, like that? Grr. Your diagnosis is arrogance with no chance of recovery. I better treat you right away, and I'll blame your death on Takemi messing up again. God damn, he is so corrupt. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, he's a monkey reading a book. <laughs> Interesting. That's his true form. He's really a monkey. <laughs> Feel the power of medicine. Feel the power of my persona. Persona's boot in your face. <laughs> We're gonna take you down, dude. All right, we've taken down much harder enemies than this dude before. Let's see if we can get crit. Hey, look, done already. <laughs> Damn, dude, you are a difficult foe. <laughs> Not. All right, let's take this dude down. I mean, I guess this memento has been hanging around for a little while. I just haven't got around to actually doing it. So that's cool. 12k for that, not bad for our, you know, first memento oh, fight down here. Done. How come? How come I'm not good enough? 
I want to save people's lives and I want to do something great and help make medical history but I'm just a mediocre doctor and I've only gotten promoted because of my university connections. Takemi though was so creative, she had all of these ideas and her techniques were extraordinary so he was jealous. Everything I ever wanted, fame, prestige, she earned in just a few short years. I was jealous of her, that's why I tried to take all the credit for her new drug. Wow, there had to be another way. <laughs> If only there were a medication that works on jealousy. <laughs> yeah, if only. Takemi's patient isn't dead. Oh wow, she's not? Oh, I thought she wouldn't recover, so I moved her to the hospice wing for terminally ill patients. But that patient didn't believe my diagnosis. She ended up transferring to another hospital. Of course, transferring to another hospital makes our own hospital and university look really bad. That's why I made everyone tell the same lie the patient chose to leave the hospice and then died she doesn't have much time left but maybe Takemi could do something about it I would totally love to see Takemi saving this little girl in the end that would be so nice to see oh nice we got a heal spell I believe it seems like the patient is still alive I should tell Takemi about this right away she would absolutely love to save this girl, I think. She's got some pretty strong feelings for this child, so I think that's really sweet. Yeah. Well, that's that. Want to keep exploring? Yes, let's keep going. Okay, I'm good to go. Me too. Let's keep going. In the next episode, that is. I'm going to stop here for now. I hope you enjoyed, though. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. She, she stars. Didn't even get to